With the conclusion of the World Cup qualifiers, fans and viewers are getting prepared for one of the biggest gaming events in history. With over $3 million in prize money, Epic has toppled many other world records previously set by other games such as Call of Duty, League of Legends, and CSGO. But of all the qualifiers, only one will emerge victoriously. Which one? Let's find out. So many players have qualified for the World Cup. More than 100 people will be receiving $50,000 just for qualifying. But if that isn't enough, these six stood out to us as the guys who will get an even bigger chunk of change. These guys are colossal in their standards, and just qualifying isn't enough for them. They want to take home the crown. These stars have all shown phenomenal performances and have many wins and statistics to back them up. Want to qualify for the next World Cup? Head over to ProGuys.com and check out InstaPro. Train with the most skilled coaches in the game and stay ahead of the competition. First up, Clicks and Skeptic. These pro players form Team Misfits and come in perfectly at our sixth spot. They got lots of talent, and I'm going to show you guys why. How did their road to fame begin? Let's find out. Skeptic has been in the pro scene for a while now, and I'm sure you guys remember that time he killed Tifu. What the? You up, Psycho? Yeah, it was... I don't know what the kid was doing. Ugh. Someone clip it, by the way. Don't shoot Bill Fights down, bro. That's scummy. The first time Clix was discovered was in the Share the Love event, where he placed 11th on the NA East server. After this, Clix took it one step further. Clix began competing until he qualified in week two with his partner Skeptic. I read your guys' comments the last video, and I still disagree. Just because Skeptic and Clix argue and have fights does not mean that they have bad teamwork. What you see on stream is purely for entertainment purposes. Otherwise, they wouldn't have got a double duos qualification for the World Cup. It's all insider jokes and doesn't take away from their team play. Clix, like his counterpart Skeptic, is a very fast and agile player. He likes to go for risky plays and is very opportunistic. This means he loves to stray from the norms and go for flashy strategies, and he makes them work. Skeptic is very much the same, except on occasion he will play a bit more defensively. Their young energy and talent really shine when it comes to the pro level. They've really shown us what they can do at this competitive level. They're both fast builders, got great shots, and they're always looking to be the winners. And guess what else? Clix is your favorite playground warrior too. Just check out this clip of Clix flexing his building skills against another fellow player, Bugga. So, as you can see, Clix and Skeptic are a phenomenal duo, both in and out of creative, and they have a very good chance of taking home the World Cup. The only thing Clix and Skeptic don't have is LAN experience. This may be the one thing that keeps them from beating the other guys on this list. Okay, Dubs has been accused of cheating before, and I admit I thought it was suspicious, but maybe Dubs is just that good. Now, Dubs, along with his partner Mega, have shown time and time again throughout all 10 weeks of the qualifiers that they've got the true raw skills to not only compete, but win. While Dubs is more notorious thanks to the accusations, which Epic has already investigated by the way, but Mega is also a talented young player who shouldn't be overlooked. We did a video review on him a while back showing you he's just as capable as Dubs at pulling high kill games and excellent placement. Dubs and Mega have shaken the Fortnite competitive community, defying all the rumors regarding RNG. They've made some of the best of the best look juvenile in contrast to their style of play. Just imagine coming in and getting multiple placements while other top tier pros have been grinding for ages just not to qualify. Dubs and Mega did only qualify once, but we know they are very effective, considering it's their first time playing as a duo in an event like this. There's more than enough evidence to prove Dubs is top tier on his own. To put things into perspective, other top players have only qualified once or twice for solos. Dubs has done it four out of five weeks in a row, and Mega once. That's actually insane. Just like many of their peers, Dubs and Mega have been competing since the Winter Royale and made their push for the greatest during the Gauntlet Cup events. Just open up Dubs' stream and watch him and Mega play and you'll have no doubts after that. These guys are the real deal. Dubs and Mega have been a surprise to all of us and although they don't have any LAN experience, many people think that they will be the ones to win the World Cup. Let us know in the comments section what you guys think of Dubs and Mega. I'm sure you guys are waiting for this one. Number 4, Mitro and Mongrel. Some of you may be surprised not seeing this duo first place on this list, but hold on, let me explain to you why. Mitro and Mongrel, as amazing as they are, sort of struggled to qualify for the World Cup. Mongrel only qualified once and didn't come anywhere near a second time. Mitro didn't even qualify for solos. While their solo performances hold them back a little on this list, this pair is still one of the best duos in the world. They qualified three times for the World Cup as a duo. 
Mongrel has left Team Secret to join FaZe Clan. Yes, that FaZe Clan. How do you think this will affect him? Just weeks before the World Cup, Mongrel joins one of the biggest gaming organizations. When Mitro and Mongrel play, you can see the potential for something really great here. Their synergy is so good, the teamwork, well, I just can't stop watching them when they pop off. On top of that, Mitro will hold 7th place in the world for most Fortnite tournament earnings with almost $300,000 earned. Mitro has also participated many times in LAN events, so this means that Mongrel will have the necessary motivation he needs. The main advantage of playing at LAN events is that you know what it's like to experience a lot of pressure. Mongrel's been a superstar ever since he was discovered. He was already tearing up the competition back in 2018 when there weren't many mechanically skilled players yet. You can say the same for Mitro. Just take a look at how many first place achievements Mitro has for 2018. It's actually insane considering Mitro has a long history of making bizarre plays. Many people actually believe them to be the scariest pro players around, and now they're competing together with great results. What do you guys think? Will Mitro and Mongrel win this, or are other duos going to take them out? Next up in line is Benji Fishy and Mr. Savage. Just turn on Benji and Mr. Savage's streams and you'll see all the proof you need that this duo is definitely one to beat at the World Cup. In fact, the Fortnite community has been debating if they're even the best duo around. Well, for one, they've been around in the competitive scene since the Winter Royale. Mr. Savage scored second place in the Winter Royale qualifiers and people wondered how he did it. In fact, Mr. Savage wasn't even known at the time. Building yourself up from no followers or viewers to one of the most world-renowned pro players today is no easy task. If you guys are interested how Mr. Savage came into the scene, here you go. After playing a duo game with Mongrel back in late 2018 to early 2019, people started to take notice of how insane he was. He would turn squads into mincemeat in a matter of seconds and put other known pro players to shame. Check out this clip and you'll know what I mean. Oh, that's a more. Oh no. This is a kill with the RPG. I'm so dead. Ooh. <laughs> Leave me alone, dude. I just want to use a med kit in peace. Get your revive, I don't care. Oh no. Okay. Yeah. Oh! Get a perch. Uh. Get me out of here. He didn't pick up the bandages. Am I alive? I don't deserve this. Oh no. Fuck. <laughs> we all miss those moments. Fortnite seems to have evolved into a whole new video game. But anyway, Benji and Mr. Savage are by far one of the most talented duos we've ever seen. We also have a full master's course from Benji Fishy himself on our website. If you're looking for top tier tactics and strategy from pro players, then you've come to the right place. Head on over to ProGuys.com after this video to get started. But anyway, since then, Benji and Mr. Savage have established themselves as one of the top duos in the world. Benji and Mr. Savage have been a lethal tag team since the start of the World Cup and have managed to earn a qualification spot for duos three times. They boast one of the highest mechanical skill levels for any Fortnite player. What's kind of funny is that they both play on high sensitivity and have very similar play styles. This in turn helps them synergize at a very high level. They're fast, flashy, and always seem to make the right decisions, leading them to secure placements off kills alone. So do you guys think Benji and Mr. Savage are really that good, or do you think they get too much attention? Let us know down below. Last up, number one, Stompy and Chinken. This duo leaves us speechless. What they've done in a mere 10 weeks is mass destruction. They've blown away all the other pros and made duos like Mitro and Mongrel look like amateurs. It's literally insane. Stompy is actually one of the best players in the world as of right now. He's the epitome of a Fortnite monster, qualifying 7 out of 10 weeks for the finals. But don't worry, we didn't forget about Shinken. Props to him for being part of one of the best duos alive today. Stompy couldn't have done it without him. In fact, most of their qualifications were in duos, where they qualified every single week. So every single week, they showed they were worthy of being at the finals. Not surprisingly, Stompy and Shinken have been an incredible force in the Fortnite competitive gaming world since the very start. They've participated in any online competitive event that they could think of, and also went to the Katowice Royale LAN event. This only attributes to the fact that they have all the experience they need to compete in the World Cup. 
Stompy and Shinken are absolute beasts and are known for hitting incredibly high kill counts in top tier lobbies. Just look at this. All right, Sweat just got taken right out the lobby there. There goes D2R, who he saw there, got caught off guard, took a 100 to the face, and, and Stompy, dude, this is pure confidence here as he is not even near his teammate. He doesn't even care because he knows he's making it to New York. He's probably going to re-qualify again here as he is just <laughs> dominating at this point. That's fearlessness. Totally insane. Show me another duo that has dropped over 30 kills in a World Cup qualifier. If that wasn't enough, check this out. Stompy personally got the record for most kills out of all 10 weeks. If this isn't enough to convince you that this duo is the best in the world, I don't know what will. Talented, fast, and deadly all describe this duo, but what makes them so unique? Unlike many others, Stompy and Shinken have an incredible understanding of the late game. Normally, when we think of the late game, we're thinking of tunneling, rotations, and survival. For them, this means going for kills. They look for any opportunity to add another victim to their hit list. It's truly terrifying being pushed by this duo because you know they aren't going to let you get away. They turn pro players into elimination points with ease, and apparently, Stompy's already overconfident. He tweeted this out, Good luck to the people landing Frosty and World Cup duos at New York City. He's obviously ready for the World Cup. This duo is prepared to take the title. Love that enthusiasm. So what do you guys think? Which player is going to take the crown? Who has what it takes to be called the greatest? Because after World Cup, the winner will be the new best player. Thanks so much for watching this video, guys. Uh, this has been Dan. You can follow me on Twitter at, at Daniel Ammerman. See you guys with new content coming up soon, and good luck with your gamer grind.